Hello and welcome to the ninth Java training tutorial and in this tutorial video we are going to see the example of collection framework with Selenium. So we had seen array list set and has hash set to be more precise and hash map in the last tutorial and in this tutorial we will see a couple of examples of these collection frameworks. So let's begin with. Alright so I have a test class here which is named of course test class and it is available under one of the packages for test classes and we have collection framework in selenium here so all of this code base is available on github and you can download it from there you can uh, see the url for github in the description of the video all right so let's see what's there in this test class so as usual we have a main method and then we are instantiating the web driver and we are using the firefox driver here which we have assigned to web driver interface which is the super class and then we have set a timeout so there's nothing new in these two lines they are same because we have been using them in couple of previous tutorials as well now let's proceed next now we have created a set into uh, a set object so how we have done that we have done this using the set interface here generic type is a string which we saw in previous sessions name of the set is url set equal to new hash set which is a specific implementation for set and we are instantiating hash set here so we have a url set set object now okay then we had created google home page class in the previous sessions and we are going to use that here now so let's instantiate google home page class how do we do that we write name of the class following name of the object equal to new google home page and since this constructor takes web driver object so we pass web driver to it let's have a look at google home page class and let's see if there is any new thing Alright, so this is the old Google home page class and this is the constructor where we are instantiating the web driver object but there are a few modifications here. For example, let's see the search method. So we had used search method in the previous session but there are some modifications here. Earlier search method used to return void that is there was no return type but now we are returning Google search result page. So when we perform the search on the home page, then we are returning an object of type Google search result page. This is called a page object uh, pattern or page object uh, technique. You can find more details about page object framework in my Selenium training videos. Uh, but you can understand here that since we are performing search on home page, then we see the Google search result page. Hence, we are returning object of type Google search result. Alright, so how do we return the Google search result page object after we have clicked the search button then we are creating new object of Google search result page and we are passing the driver object to it. Let's see what else we have in this class. So we have a new method now which is get Google home page link text. So what we will do is we will go we will launch the Google home page and we will try to find out link text of all the links on Google home page. How do we do that? So we have created an array list here. We had seen array list example in previous session. How do we do that? We say list is string. So this list will contain a string objects, link text, which is the name, followed by new array list and a string, which is the type of object which array list will hold. So this array list will contain all string objects. Now let's see how we can fill data in the link text list. In Selenium, we have a method called find elements which can be used to find web elements. So far we were using method find element which would give us just one element but find elements gives us a collection and this collection is something which we can again store into a list object. So in the first line we are having list of type a string object and in the second line we are having list of type web element object. It means the link elements object is going to contain objects of type web element. So it's very similar to the first line. The only difference here is we have changed the data type. Now let's go back to find elements method from web driver. So find elements method take argument of type by object, which we had seen earlier also. And we know that all HTML links begin with the tag name anchor. So we are passing it by the tag name anchor. And this line web driver dot find element will then give us a list of web elements. Now we had seen in previous sessions how we can iterate through a list. So how do we do that? We have a for each loop here. So we got the axis of all the elements. So we keep link elements on right hand side and on the left hand side we use the data type 
which is used in the collection so data type here is web element and then we give it a name now how do we find the text of a link because on 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 a website we do not see html on the page we see the text so we can fetch the text of a link using get text method so this is a method which i have used here and then i am storing it in a string object called link text at last i am adding link text to our first list object which we had defined here which is link text so how i do that i write link text dot add link text so this is how i am going to fill my link text collection with all of the links available on the google home page and at last i return the link text which is my collection this is also the data type or uh, this is also the return type for the method get google home page link text uh, there are not many new things in this method because we have seen operations of uh, collection list earlier as well. The new thing here is that we are storing a new type of uh, object in our list here which is of type web element. Alright, let's see what we have in our test class now. So in test class we instantiated Google home page and then we are launching the Google home page. Now, there is a mechanism or a method in WebDriver to get the current URL of the page. So we can get the current URL using get current URL method. So this is something which I'm using here. I say WebDriver.get current URL and I store it in Google home page string object and then I add this to URL set set. So URL set is something which we had defined here and then I write URL set dot add Google home page URL. And at last, what I'm doing here is I'm printing all of the link text which is available on the Google home page. So there's nothing extraordinary here. We just call the method called get Google home page link text, which we had a look at earlier. And then we get a list here, which we are collecting it in another list here. Now we already know how we can iterate through a list. We are using the for each loop here. And then we are printing all link text. Simple. All right. Now let's perform a search. So we do a search on Google home page. We are writing Selenium Headquarter. And we saw earlier that search method returns the object of type Google search result page. So this is something which we are assigning to Google search result page in our test class. And then we are waiting for 5,000 seconds, uh, milliseconds actually. So do not use it in your uh, uh, real scripts. I'm just using it uh, for sake of an example here because I have to wait for uh, drone to be modified when we write the search term on Google home page in practice you would be using the conditional uh, wait methods you can learn more about conditional wait methods in my selenium tutorials videos all right now the similar way we will collect all the URL text on Google search result page also but before that let's get the current URL of the Google search result page so we use the previous API again, which is get current URL and we are assigning it to Google search result page URL string object and then we add it to our set. All right. So first we add it to our set Google homepage URL here and now we are adding to our set Google search result page URL. If you remember from previous sessions, set is something which contains only unique objects and we know that two page URLs can never be same. Hence, we are storing them in a set. All right, let's see what's next. Now we are collecting the Google search result page link text as well. So in Google search result page, we have a new method called get Google search result page link text. Let's see this method. Here is the method. This method is very similar to the Google home page method, which is get Google home page link text. So we are again creating a list here. We are having another list of type web element. We are storing all of the web elements which have link uh, which have anchor tag a and then we are filling our link text collection here and eventually we are returning it from the method which is which returns a list of type string all right so let's get back to test class so this is something which we are doing here we are collecting all of the link text from Google search result page in another list and then we are printing it using for each loop which we had seen earlier also. Now we have another uh, thing to be done which is with URL set. So we have URL set object. So let's see what we can do with this. Let's create a map using URL set. So we had seen in previous sessions how we create a map. We write map, uh, the object type of key, object type of value, name of the map and I'm instantiating URL, uh, I'm instantiating hash map here. Now what I will do is I will put values in this map. So I define a variable called 
index here and then I'm going to iterate through all of the values in the URL set. This is again another for each loop. So all of the values of URL set would be assigned to variable URL one by one. And then I use URL map here and then I put values in the URL map for which I use put method, something which we had seen in previous session also. And then I assign it a key, which is index and URL, which is a value. And then I keep in incrementing the index. So this how uh, I have my map filled in and we know that we would have only two values in the map here because we have only two URLs, Google homepage and Google search result page and index would be zero and one. All right, and then let's print uh, the values in the map. So we have seen how to print values in the map. We write, we get the keys of the map and we know that keys are integer here. How do we get key? We write the name of the map uh, object followed by key set, which is a method to get the keys in the map and we are assigning it to integer type object because we know that the map which we have declared here contains keys of type integer and then we are printing these values. So we print key, which is key and then URL value. How do we get the URL value? We get the URL value using the get method over the map object. So we say URL map dot get and we pass the key of key argument to it and then we find the value. And then we close the web, web driver and then we quit it. So let's run this program and see what happens. So this is the main method and I run it now. So it's running now. We would have web driver coming up soon. Yeah, here comes the, not the web driver, sorry, the Firefox. Firefox is here. And then we had search on Selenium headquarter. Then we had wait for five seconds or 5,000 milliseconds. And then everything is over. So let's see what is being printed. All right, so, yeah, so this is our first print statement where we are where we are printing the Google homepage link text. So this is printed here. Now it looks like not all link text have inner text. So we see that some instances of print are empty here and some have the value like ish, gmail, builder, uh, which is German for picture and I. And then some more empty links and then English and Einstellung, which is setting. Some more links and then it gets over. So this is where all of the link having a text on Google homepage are printed. And then we have Google search result page. So this is our search result page. And then we are printing the text or link text from the search result page. So our search term was Selenium headquarter. And then we have link text being printed here. So it looks like not all of the links have inner text. Yeah, so we have shopping, mayor, and some other link text here. All right, and at last, yeah, at last we are printing our map. So this is the map and in the map we have index which is the key and the URL which is the URL set. So there are, we know that there are only two values so they are printed here. So we have key one and the value is Google homepage here with some more parameters appended and key, sorry, first key was zero and then we have key one and the value is Another Google home, uh, Google search result page URL where our search term is Selenium headquarter. So this is one example of how we can use collection uh, frameworks or collection API in Selenium test. Now you should try to find out or you should try to see the real time example of or real world usage example of a, in fact this is also a real world example but you may come across situation where collection would fit in your needs and this is where you should use collection uh, so yeah i think we have covered all three topics for today so this brings us to an end of today's session i hope you find this session useful and if so then please click the thumbs up button on the video good luck with learning bye bye see you in next session